A lot of people don't realize this, but chocolate bars in America and chocolate bars in Canada, even if they're the exact same chocolate bar, are often different. Uh, for example, my favorite chocolate bar, the Reese's. Well, the Reese's in America, in Canada, it's just the Reese. And that's the, uh, the difference in spelling, completely different package design, and, and this is the real kicker that gets me. In America, we've got two peanut butter cups. In Canada, they get three. <clears throat> now, of course, in America, you also have a king size, which gives you four. But in Canada, this is the regular size. You get three, but that's three slightly smaller uh, peanut butter cups. Uh, the grand total is 46 grams versus 42 grams in America. Now, these peanut butter cups have traveled about 1,200 miles and got the opportunity to melt slightly on the way. So, they're not real pretty, but that gives us the idea. You have it three Canadian peanut butter cups versus two American peanut butter cups. Let's go ahead and slice one of these open. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like the Canadian has more chocolate around the edges than the American does. Eh, maybe they're the same. Uh, you can see the chocolate itself is a little bit lighter color on the Canadian versus the American bar. As ingredients go, Now the ingredients for the chocolate are different, but the ingredients for the peanut butter are the same. So there you have it, Canadian versus American chocolate. Canadian chocolate, in my experience, tastes better than American chocolate, and they have some, some bars that you can't get here that are, uh, well, I just, let's just say I wish you could get them here. Uh, Having been said, I'm going to enjoy some Reese's now, or uh, some Reese, I guess.